Baptist Church. I'm so thankful you could join us and be with us today. It's an exciting day that the Lord has made, and I'm just looking forward to all that He has for us this morning. Today we're going to be looking at verse 83 of Psalm 119. 81 and 82, He says, My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? And then verse 83 he paints a picture. We talked about revival yesterday. And today he paints a picture here in verse number 83. He says, For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statutes. What an interesting statement to make. Yet I am become like a bottle in the smoke. And I'll be honest with you, reading through this verse, I had to do some research to understand what exactly he was talking about. There are canteens and there are bottles that they would use, that they would carry things in were leather satchels and they were sewn and they were they were pockets and they would be used to to carry the liquid back and forth in um have you ever been around a campfire have you ever been around smoke or barbecuing or grilling uh, the other day i was uh, wearing this um this uh, vest thing and i was uh, grilling with it on it still smells like grill um that smoke that comes off the grill fabric holds that smoke smell that's there and uh what happens is if you have a leather pouch that gets in the smoke and that smoke begins to come and gets into that leather pouch. As the smoke smell comes and it fills in that leather pouch, everything that passes through that pouch or goes into that pouch smells like that smoke, that smoke that's involved. Here in this uh, verse, he's saying, I'm become like a bottle in the smoke. The psalmist saw himself as this wine skin, if you will, this, uh, this wine bottle, this uh, skin that has been in the smoke that's been uh, permeating him. Now, the smoke that was penetrating and pervasive and polluting and influencing him was the uh, penetrating pervasiveness and the polluting of the world that was around him. Everywhere around him, he saw wickedness. The people he rubbed shoulders with uh, would tell jokes uh, that were inappropriate. As he walked through his life and lived in the world, um, he was being attacked from all sides uh, from worldliness. And almost so to where, um, just like that wineskin, as it begins to smell like smoke, it would start to be useless or feel useless because it was filled with smoke and everything, the water would come out of it and every the, uh, the wine that would come out of it or the water that would come out of it uh, would in fact be tainted by that smoke smell. Um, his concern, and he thought because of him being contaminated by its atmosphere and by the surrounding atmosphere around him, the world, he thought God could no longer use him. And that was his fear, was feeling that, that God could no longer use him. I am become like a bottle in the smoke, and basically saying, I'm unusable. If a bottle is left in the smoke, it's going to contaminate the message. Um, how could the wine of salvation, or how could the water of the world, uh, the word rather, be poured out from him? How could these things be poured out of a life that has such contamination on it? The bad odor of the world, it had spoiled everything, and it was spilling out everywhere all over him. And yet, look at the last part of this verse. Yet do I not forget thy statutes. <laughs> Praise the Lord, there is a way to remove the smoke. The odor, the, the, the tainting, the problems, the difficulties, the heartache, um, the smoke that gets in our life, that taints and messes up um, our life. It's by the Word. The Word of God now, the Word of God is the way that we can remove it. The way that we can get deep down cleansing within is by the washing of the Word, by the cleansing of the Word. And my vest, whenever I take it home and I put it in the laundry, Amy's going to throw it in the laundry and wash it with water uh, with water and laundry detergent. And I'll be able to wear it again, and it won't smell like uh, smoke anymore. It'll start to smell like a spring day one more time. Um, just like that, the, uh, the Word of God here, uh, I don't forget thy statues. I do not forget thy statues. God's word, um, God's word can come in and clean and purify, and it can help us. It can it can purify our life and make it to where it needs to be. What is right, you know, we can't escape the world we live in. Uh, we live in it. We rub shoulders with people all day long. Uh, we we um, uh, we go out into communities. We go to the store. We go to shops. We go to work. We have our neighbors. We have our coworkers. We have our friends. We have our family. The world permeates around us everywhere. Yet God's word can restore us. I'm so thankful that there's restoration available. We may think, well, wait a second. I'm feeling so worldly. And so spend time in God's word. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? 
by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So today as you go throughout your day, today as we rub shoulders in the world, as we, we live our life uh, in this world, let's not be of the world. Let's not act like the world. Let's not respond like the world. Let's spend time in God's word and allow God's word to show us areas that can sure us up so that we can make wise decisions, decisions that are honoring to God, so that we can stand out. There was a statement I used to have on the wall, and it used to say, um, if, you want to be, if you want to make a difference, you have to be different. As a child of God, we need to allow God's word to reshape our thinking, to reshape our life, so that we can be different. The I mean, best thing about this is, even though the psalmist thought he could never be used by God anymore, or even though the psalmist thought he was useless because everything coming out of him smelt like that smoke, <laughs> praise the Lord, there's cleansing available in the Word of God. Let's not miss out on that cleansing. Today, as you go throughout your day, take opportunity to be a witness to somebody. Take opportunity to stop today and pray for the city of Bemidji. Pray for the lost souls of the city of Bemidji. Pray for our city leadership. Pray for our light to shine in the community. Pray, pray for our police officers, for God to protect them and to help them. Uh, pray for our sheriff and our deputies. Uh, pray for those that keep us safe. Um, take opportunity to pray and thank God for where we get to live, but also thank God and ask Him to bless and help those that are all around us for us to share His light with somebody else. Thank you so much for tuning in. Look forward to talking to everybody tomorrow on day number 23 of 40 Days in Prayer. God bless you and have a wonderful day. When I take a bath, I think about the Lord and how he washed away my sin. Let me tell you more. He washed my feet so I could go unto the lost and let them know. Jesus fills me up with hope and washes me with super soap.